Are you feeling sore? We can make that better. Tune in to the Ateneo Senior High School's first radio program, Soar, Soar. Soar. Seniors On Air Radio. Don't change that channel yet because Soar is ready to put the you in you. Soar, Seniors On Air, here on Radio Katipunan 87.9 FM. Friends, Romans, countrymen, lend me your ear. Do you long for a good spiritual read? Or for literature that not only feeds the mind, but nourishes the soul as well? Do you want to be inspired, feel positive, and hopeful about life? Then read The Wind Hover, the official magazine of the Jesuits in the Philippines. Written by Jesuits and their lay partners, The Wind Hover features real stories about the Jesuits and their various ministries. Be inspired. Be blessed. Subscribe to The Wind Hover. For inquiries, call the Philippine Jesuit Aid Association at telephone numbers 426-6001, locals 4890 or 4892. Once again, Philippine Jesuit Aid Association, telephone numbers 426-6001, locals 4890 or 4892. Radio, 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 Radio. Rejoice, refresh, renew, and reflect. Join us for an hour of music that uplifts the soul. Listen to your favorite Jesuit music ministry artists. This is JMM Radio. Get your day's dose of inspirational music. Tune in to JMM Radio. Every Wednesday, only here on Radio Katipunan 87.9 FM. Palalimin ang kamalayan sa mga isyong napapanahon. Makisangkot at makiisa kasama ang simbahang lingkod ng bayan. Ang socio-political apostolate ng kapisanan ni Jesus. Ito ang Kwentuhang Bayan. Mula alas 11 ng umaga, tuwing biyernes, dito lang sa Radyo Katipuna 87.9 FM. Dahil naniniwala kami na posible ang isang mas mabuting lipunan at maaari itong simulan sa isang kwentuhan. Oh! Hay Kino! Hay Kino! Hay Kino! Hay Kino! Ready! One, two! Hay Kino! Kinikina! Hay Kino! Kinikina! Yebo! Yebo! Acelera! Hay Kino! Kinikina! Hay Kino! Kinikina! Yebo! Yebo! Acelera! Hay Kino! Hay Kino! Radyo Katipunan News, Insights, Inspiration Radyo Katipunan Down from the hill and down to the world Radyo Katipunan The voice of the Blue Eagle Tananat simulan ang inyong umaga sa mga magagandang refleksyon tungkol sa ating buhay at pananampalataya Kasama si na Father J. Boy Gonzales at Father Nono Alfonso ng Kapisanan ni Jesus, binibining Risa Singson Kaupeng ng Feast Magazine, Father Fiel Pareha mula sa Archdiocese ng San Fernando, Pampanga, at Cardinal Luis Antonio Tagle. Dito sa Kapet Pandasal sa Radyo Katipunan 87.9 FM. Paano ka pumili? Magandang araw po. Kape at Pandasal na po. Ito po si Cardinal Chito Tagle. Ang buhay ay puno ng pagpili. Magandang suriin natin ang basihang ginagamit natin. Halimbawa, sa pagpili ng damit, ano ang hinahanap mo? 
matibay na materials, pulidong pagkatahi, kulay na bagay sa iyo, yung style na uso, ang presyo. Siguro, mas matimbang ang ibang pamantayan kaysa sa iba. Pero, tinatanong mo ba rin kung yung mananahi ay binabayaran ng tamang sahod o isa sa makabagong alipin o slave? Matutunan sana nating pumili ayon sa sinasaad ng salita ng Diyos at sa turo ng halimbawa ni Jesus. Hindi ayon sa pagpili ng Diyos ang pumili ang tao. May nakikitang ganda at halaga ang Diyos sa mga payak at bagay na payak. Minamaliit at hindi pinapansin ng tao. Kaya sa susunod na pipili ka, huminto sandali, ano ang pamantayan ko? O Diyos, pumili at magdesisyon na wa kami ayon sa iyong pamantayan. Amen. Radio, 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 katipunan, na, 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 radio, katipunan, na, 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 radio, katipunan, radio, 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 katipunan, radio, 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 katipunan, sa Pablo Eagle kami di mapipigil sa pagbabalit ang Sa loob, sa labas ng skwela Ating ibibida Lahat ng kwela Radyo, radyo, radyo Katipunan Radyo, radyo, radyo Katipunan Radyo, radyo, katipunan Radyo, radyo, katipunan Ikaw ang ni Ignacio Katipunero sugon Todo sa kayot Tunong at tulog The Jesuit Hour. Get to know the Jesuits. Discover their spirituality, their history, their ministries. The Jesuit Hour. Anything Jesuit, everything Jesuit. The Jesuit Hour. Good morning mga Katipuneros! Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Welcome to our show here at Radio Katipunan 87.9 FM. This is the Jesuit Hour and this is your host Father Nono Alfonso SJ. Magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. At dito po sa atin ay campus of course it's uh, back to school lahat na. Yung college started with the classes, their classes uh, yesterday kaya punong puno na po ang ating school balik sa traffic na rin. So, ingat-ingat mga katipuneros. Let's begin our show. We are very excited dahil meron po tayong panauing pandangal ngayong umagang ito. Let's begin, however, with a prayer. Prayer for peace. Ito po, no, alam po natin ngayon na ang daming kaguluhan sa ating mundo and Pope Francis is very concerned. So, he uh, wrote a prayer for peace. Let's uh, open this program, therefore, with uh, Pope Francis' prayer for peace. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Lord God of peace, hear our prayer. We have tried so many times and over so many years to resolve our conflicts by our own powers and by the force of our arms. How many moments of hostility and darkness have we experienced how much blood has been shed? How many lives have been shattered? How many hopes have been buried? But our efforts have been in vain. Now, Lord, come to our aid. Grant us peace. Teach us peace. 
guide our steps in the way of peace. Open our eyes and our hearts and give us the courage to say never again war. With war, everything is lost. Instill in our hearts the courage to take concrete steps to achieve peace. Keep alive within us the flame of hope so that with patience and perseverance we may opt for dialogue and reconciliation. In this way, may peace triumph at last and may the words division, hatred, and war be banished from the heart of every man and woman. Lord, diffuse the violence of our tongues and our hands. Renew our hearts and minds so that the word which always brings us together will be brother and our way of life will always be that of shalom, peace, salam. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. What a beautiful prayer and a very relevant one, especially in our times. If you've been monitoring the news, I'm sure you have been. Uh, just uh, two days ago, ano, may kaguluhan na po dyan sa Yemen. Ano, uh, the U.S. sent missiles uh, to Yemen. Yung po, ano, and of course, ito pong sa Taiwan. They had an election and sabi nila, ano, China is monitoring that very, very closely. Ang nanalo po, I, I think, uh, if I'm not mistaken, mga liberals. So, uh, patuloy ang policy na to China yon. So, anyway, so let's pray for peace. And also, in, here in, this, in our country, we also need peace. Okay, so speaking of peace, yes, peace in Mindanao. We pray for peace in Mindanao. And this morning, mga kausap po natin sa ating programa dito sa Jesuit Hour, ating kaibigan, he uh, graduated from the Ateneo de Manila University, NAX naman, class valedictorian in 1986. So, people power and sa revolution leader po ito, no? And then, he, uh, he worked in uh, NGOs, non-government organizations in, so, in the social development field, as it were, and then went to the... Asian Institute of Management for uh, his master's degrees in development uh, studies and uh, joined the Society of Jesus and then earned his uh, doctorate uh, or uh, degree from Spokane University or Gonzaga University in Spokane, Washington. Uh, he was uh, installed just uh, last Monday, not yesterday, but last week, uh, January 8, as the fifth president of the Ateneo de Davao University. Please welcome to the show once again, our dear friend, Father Karel San Juan SJ. Good morning, Father Karel. Good morning, Father Nono. Good morning po sa mga tagapakinig at tagapanood ng Radyo Katipunan. Of course. Uh, mga, uh, hello? Yes, you, loud and clear. We he hear you. Uh, loud and clear. Uh, gusto ko rin batiin, Father Nono, yung mga nakikinig sa Davao. Maayong buntag sa tanan. Yes. yes. So, first of all, Father Karel, congratulations po for uh, being installed as uh, president of Atene de Davao University. Yan. Well, maraming salamat, Father Nono. Salamat din sa pagdalo mo. Investiture yon parang isang ritual ng mga presidente ng mga universidad uh, to mark the continuity of leadership. Uh, yung okasyon na ngayon ay dinaluhan ng mga maraming kaibigan mula sa education sector, pati mm -hmm. sa development sector, pati yung mayor ng Davao City, nandun din po tsaka yung aming uh, talagang minamahal na arsobispo si Romulo Valles ng Archdiocese of Davao Yes, uh, so Ayaw this kanyang associate uh, bishop na si Bishop George Riman This was last Monday, parang ano po ano, akala ko fashion show eh, kasi pagandahan ng mga ano bang tawag dyan, gala no uh, yung mga uh, number of stripes and colors ng mga ano po ano mga ano bang tawag doon father Ka Karel uh, yung toga? mga toga, toga ninyo ano anyway uh, so <laughs> academic yes father Karel before we talk about Davao which is the, the new thing for you let's talk about uh, where you recently came from ano Ateneo de Zamboanga University how was the transition for you? How did you say goodbye to the, ano, ano, ano bang tawag sa kanila? Uh, famosa, grandiosa, 
uh, magagandang tao sa uh, Ateneo La, de Zamboanga. Labella. Labella. Zamboanga. Ayun. So, how did you say goodbye to them? Uh, how many years were you as president of Ateneo de Zamboanga? More than nine years po ako doon, Father Nono. Mm-hmm. Uh, nine years and a few more months. Mm-hmm. Nagsimula ako noong 2013. Yes. So, how was the goodbye? How was your farewell? Paano ka Ay, nag, nagpaalam? Uh, ano, bittersweet. Uh, hindi ko malilimutan yung uh, despedida ng buong university para sa akin. Uh, dami ng tributes, bawat unit, grade school, junior high school, senior high school, college, higher education. Uh, nagpasalamat sila sa maraming nagawa nung itong nakarang nine years. At ako rin naman, nagpasalamat din mm-hmm. sa kanila kasi hindi lang naman ako bilang presidente ang may kagagawaan yan. Uh, ang, ang, ang in-emphasize ko, sama-sama kaming nagtaguyod ng isang pamantasa na tawag na Adzu at there sa Buang University. Of course, Father Carl, no, we remember the ominous uh, perilous <laughs> <laughs> start you had at Ateneo de Zamboanga University. You were uh, you started there uh, in the midst of the so-called Zamboanga siege, if I remember it right. Tama po, di ba? Yes, Father Nono. Dapat November 2013, dapat November 2013 yung simula ko, official start ko. Pero uh, pumunta na ako sa Zamboanga na October kasi nung September, nag-erap yung Zamboanga siege. Yeah. Yung parang isang faction ng mga Uh, kapatid nating mga Muslim tarang nagrebelde mm-hmm. at ano nagkaroon ng violence sa city mm-hmm. marami ring na namatay at maraming ano evacuees yeah. no? maraming barangay yeah. nasunog so nung dumating ako sa Sambuanga ng first week of October parang war zone mm-hmm. tapos na yung mismong siege pero yung humanitarian disaster continues no mm-hmm. um, ang daming international NGO ang tumulong dahil nawala ng bahay yung mga marami nating kapatid sa mga barangay. Nagkaroon mm-hmm. ng parang mga tent cities yeah. uh, at naka recovery uh, resettlement areas. No? Yung mm-hmm. out, saan sila lilipat dahil nasulugan sila. Ganon. Yeah. Naging major ano yan, uh, development and humanitarian assistance. So parang effort. parang baptism of fire ang nangyari sa yun Father Karen. Yes. Ano? Fire talaga yon, Father Nono. Fire. <laughs> Baptism of fire. At ano naman, uh, ang nar- naranasan ko rin right after the siege, takot ni mga tao na baka magkaroon ng part 2 daw. No? Mm-hmm. Part 2. So I I arrived in Sambuaga when people are traumatized by it and at the same time, people are afraid of another one. But we try to be positive by by mobilizing all resources and people to help out no? ang daming kailangan tulungan mm-hmm. nung mapanood na yan so but uh, after that father uphill na rin naman ano uh, no? like settled down yes. naman father nono uh, uh, gusto ko rin ano banggitin na uh, salamat sa yung kasabay kong mayor halos this same year kami nagsimula si Mayor Benkli Mako Salazar mm-hmm. at sabay di kami nagtapos ng term after nine years no she was Parang alumna of the Ateneo de Zamboanga uh, uh, dahil sa pamumuno niya medyo nag-stabilize ang security mm-hmm. at safety sa Zamboanga naging prosperous at karoon kami ng bagong our first ever big mall uh, na wow. naitayo wow first big mall uh, yeah Okay. So, Father, uh, but if you're going to... May, magaling ka dito, ano, sabi nila. No? If you're going to synthesize, Nax naman, ano, your leadership, your running of the school, of the university uh, there for the last nine years, Father, uh, what would be your major contributions as a leader? Siguro, uh, nat- natanong na rin sa akin yan. Ano? Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, yung style ko kasi ng leadership, parang adaptive situational yung parang mm-hmm. nag-adjust ako sa tawag ng panahon kung kung kailangan yung tawag ng panahon maging malakas ka lalakasan ko ang leadership ko kung yung tawag ng panahon medyo bumagal maghintay magproseso mm-hmm. magano magkonsulta ganun ganun yun din uh, ang naranasan ko sa Sambuanga ang dami ring mga crisis tulad niyan yung mga security threats na kidnapping and uh, and uh, random killings mm-hmm. yan medyo nung malis ako wala na yun eh uh, may bombings pa before pero nawala rin yun no so nag stabilize uh, as nag stabilize yung situation sa sa syudad 
medyo naging ano na rin, parang yung leadership at management ng university, parang nag-stabilize na rin. Mm-hmm. Uh, yun. At ang pangalawa siguro mahalaga, yung team, yung team leadership, collaborative leadership, ano yun ang tawag doon. Kasi talagang kailangan, ano eh, uh, sama-sama kami mm-hmm. na kumikilos, kasama ko yung mga kaibig, mga kapwa ko, Jesuita, na nasa uh, Teredo Zambuanga, pati yung mga non-Jesuits na umod ng galing din mm-hmm. sa pag-respond sa mga hamo ng panahon. Ano? Uh, hindi, at talagang sabay-sabay kaming lahat, no? uh, team leadership. So, mga katipuneros, ano, si Father Carol San Juan po kasi ang doctorate niya is on leadership. So, kanina may mga binanggit siya. No? He was uh, dropping terms as it were. So, may natututunan po tayo ngayon sa kanya no? in terms of leadership. So, sinabi niyo, Father Carol kanina, situational leadership. Kailangan bumabagay yes. ang leader sa, sa kailangan ng panahon. Ano? Kung kailangan maging matigas, kung kailangan maging mabayat, etc. Tapos yung pangalawa, collaborate, collaborative leadership. Nax naman. So, Uh, thank you for, for your uh, on the side uh, giving us lectures. Father Carl. Masingit pa ng input. Oh, correct. Oh, thank you po. Kasi mahal po yan si Father Carl pag mag aten kayo ng seminar oh, niyan. Hindi naman. Ako, Libre. Oh, oh, AIM, Ateneo de Manila, tsaka diba? Uh, Father, may mga bumabati lang po sa inyo. Of course, uh, watching us. Huwag ka lang makonsyos. Ano? Uh, si Hanna Bautista Gonzalez. Uh, si Winnie Santos. Uh, Laureana May May, si Malu, Daria Villanueva, si Mary Ann Cruz. Good morning, Mary Ann. Dapat nagbibisi ka sa PCN niya. And uh, v- VGCG, uh, congrats Father Carol. And of course, our very own Anthony Perez, our uh, sports so hello, host. Hello po sa ating mga kaibigan, Hannah, May Ann, Winnie Lat. Hello po. Okay, Father. So congratulations for having survived at the Zamboanga University, Father. Um, Ano, Father, di ba, yung we have, how many universities uh, uh, do the Jesuits have in, in the Philippines? Father, no, no, lima. Lima. Ang universidad ng mga Hiswita. So, at Ateo de Manila, Ateo de Naga mm-hmm. sa Luzon, sa Mindanao tatlo, Ateo de Zamboanga, Ateo de Davao, at Ateo de Cagayan, o tinatawag natin Savior mm-hmm. University. And we have always, Pero, we have always said... Iba dyan, meron pa tayong hindi mga universities, yung mga colleges. elementary at high school. Ah. Pero uh, school. Ah, uh, yan yung meron tayo sa Cebu, Ateneo de Cebu, mm-hmm. Sa- Sacred Heart School. Meron tayong Ateneo de Iloilo. Mm-hmm. Meron din tayong Savior School sa San Juan at San Ubali. At meron tayong Loyola College Culion sa Palawan. Yun. Si Father Carl San Juan din po kasi ang uh, head ng uh, Jesuit Higher Education Commission, ano? So I-, I ask you that question, Father, kasi in terms of uh, ano comparing all the universities, we're always saying that Zamboanga, Ateneo de Zamboanga is the most challenging, most difficult one, correct? And why why do we say that? Sa tingin ko, uh, challenging kasi nga yung konteksto mm-hmm. ng, ng universidad na, na una maliit yung universidad, pinakamaliit ang Sambuanga in terms of population. No? Sunod, Naga. Mm-hmm. Uh, tapos yung konteksto ng maraming mga social issues, mm-hmm. ng peace and order, safety, yeah. And the challenge and uh, hope and possibility of interreligious dialogue. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, complex, mm-hmm. team ko, complex yung konteksto, kaya challenging. Uh-huh. Tapos, tapos yung region pa na pinaglilingkuran, very poor mm-hmm. ang, ang pinaglilingkuran ng Sambuanga at very poor din ang pinaglilingkuran ng Ateneo de Naga. So, yeah. ibig sabihin niyan yung mga kailangan mag-raise ka ng funds para sa scholarships, Ganyan. Kasi maraming deserving student, students na hindi makapasok, mm-hmm. yung gano'n. So, that adds up to the challenge. The region that you're serving is a very poor region in the Philippines. So, it's there's poverty and then there's the peace and order problem, uh, part of the situation there. Father, um, uh, yun nga po, no? um, and yet we say that how many uh, Muslim brothers and sisters or there's there Uh, kumbaga, students, their youth. Ay, yes, Father Norris, are you able sa, to sa Bunga, where We are very happy mm-hmm. na ang, 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 ang Muslim population ng ating Muslim brothers and sisters sa skwelahan mm-hmm. ay umaabot ng mga 25 to 30%. Wow. No? That is part of our mission to be uh, an education provider to our Muslim brothers and sisters. They are, they are very much present mm-hmm. in very important courses like medicine. Mm-hmm. So we produce... Uh, Muslim doctors mm. for the region and for the islands of Sambuanga, Basilan, and uh, Basilan, Sulu, and Tawi-Tawi. Uh, 
And then nurses, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, nag number one ang ADSO sa nursing. Wow. Uh, accountants, mm-hmm. uh, teachers, mm-hmm. and lawyers, no? Lawyers. Uh, natutuwa talaga ako pag nakaka-graduate tayo ng mga lo- ng lawyers, yan, mga professionals. Because, you yes, know, Father yes. Nono, I've always said when I was in Atenda Sambuanga that our investment in peace is education. Wow. The more uh, educated uh, our Muslim brothers and sisters are, the more we can hope for peace in the region. Uh, they uh, they will be themselves working for peace and progress, no? such as peace, but progress and development for the region. Ang ganda naman, ang quotable quote po yun, Father Karel, our investment in peace is education. Oh, quote nyo na yan, yes. ha? <laughs> okay, so Father Karel, uh, can you clarify this? Kasi marami pong uh, nagugulo, ano, pati yung mga Yeswita, no? ilang, ilang taon ba talaga ang term ng isang presidente? Kasi may mga umabot ng 19 years, 18 years. I think your your uh, predecessor or the, your predecessor's predecessor was uh, Father Bill Kreutz and he was uh, the president of Atene de Zamboanga for uh, 19 years. So, pero kayo, 9 years lang, sabi nyo. So, uh, gaano nga ba kahaba talaga, Father, ang term? Yeah, get, get to it, Father Nono. There was a time when uh, the Ateneos were led by what we can now call the giants, the mm-hmm. Jesuit giants in education. Father Nebres uh, mm-hmm. of Ate de Manila uh, was president of 18 years. Mm-hmm. Uh, Father Bill Kreutz, almost the same thing, 17 to 18 years in Ate de Zamboanga. Um, Father Ting Samson uh, mm-hmm. served for a total of around more than 12 years in Ate de Davao and Cagayan de Oro. So yun yung generation na talagang... And Father Tabora, my predecessor in Ate de Zamboanga, 12 years. Davao. Then. Um, and it's why why because uh, at that time hindi pa hindi pa tayo ano hasa hasa mm-hmm. or parang hindi pa natin binibigyan ng importansya ang leadership and succession development mm-hmm. sa Jesuits no pero in recent years man, ano na na bibigyan na natin ng atensyon na ang, ang mga batang Jesuit ay dapat i-develop bilang leaders yes. so nung dumam dumami dami na rin ang mga p- pwedeng mamuno ng ating mga educational institution nagkaroon na tayo ng mas malinaw na mm-hmm. terms of office. Mm-hmm. So, um, nagsisimula yan sa three, tapos magiging six. Six is a, almost like a complete term. Mm-hmm. Maraming nag end ng after six years. Okay. Pero beyond six years, nine years, pwede na extend At extraordinary, pag extend pa, beyond nine to twelve. Okay. Ta- ako, nag, nag nine years ako sa Sambuanga, medyo, medyo extraordinary yon. Pero, uh, uh, I think, Ako sa sa Ater de Davao ngayon, baka after six years, meron ng pwedeng pumalit. Yun. Okay. So, Father, uh, when you found out that you were, uh, was it, is, is the correct correct term elected? When you were elected the president of uh, Davao University, so uh, how did you feel um, about that news? Kasi, Father Nono, uh, bilang presidente noon ng Ateneo de Zamboanga, nasa board ako ng Ateneo de Davao University. Ako? Yung mga tatlong Ateneo sa Mindanao, nasa, na, nag-members kami of each other's board para so, natutulungan kami sa lutong Mindanao. Makaw, lutong Macau, lutong Macau pala yan. Medyo familiar ako sa sa Davao, mga nine years din akong nasa board. Mm-hmm. So, ang feeling ko noon, nung na-elect ako na presidente, parang, wow, grabe. Yun yung feeling ko, parang, wow, ang bigat. Pero ang such an honor kasi mm-hmm. ang 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 tanyag tin ko ng ano ng Ateneo de Davao University malaki siya mm-hmm. maraming naidulot na kabutihan sa Mindanao para bang to be ano selected to for that mission is such an honor na medyo ano daunting yung medyo mabigat at uh, challenging pero pinaubaya ko <laughs> sa may kapal sabi ko lord Tinutulungan mo naman ako nung, nung nasa Sambuanga ako at even before that. Siguro tutulungan mo rin ako sa Davao. So, uh, pinagkatiwala ako na lang sa Diyos. Pero I, I felt yung humbled and honored mm-hmm. uh, to be selected to lead the university after Father Joel. Because in terms of, Father Carl, in terms of uh, the peace and order, uh, mas payapa naman sa Davao. Um, and yet, mas malaki yung student body sa Dava no? and uh, mas malaki yung kumbaga yung population mo dito, faculty, student and staff. Is that correct to say? Yes. Mm-hmm. 
So it can be daunting. Yes, yeah. Mm -hmm. Is it is it as big as the Ateneo de Manila University or is the Ateneo de Manila still the biggest? Uh, Ateneo de Manila is still much bigger. Mm -hmm. uh, ang Ateneo de Davao would be maximum of around 16,000, okay. which is double the, the student population of Ateneo de Zamboanga of maximum 8,000, thereabouts. Mm -hmm. So, uh, ang Davao, maabot ako ng 16. Mm -hmm. uh, that means, Father Nono, mas maraming teachers, mas maraming staff, mm -hmm. ganon. Okay. Kaya, in a way, ang daming nangyayari yeah. sa isang mas malaking university. Sige, sige Father. Kaya, ang dami, kong, ang dami kong emails, ang dami kong pinipirmahan, yeah. ang dami kong approvals. Okay. Ang daming nangyayari. Parang napaka-exciting ang, ang buhay sa isang malaking university. Father, sabi ni Mary Ann, magaling talaga yan si Father Carol. Pang-international yan. Okay. Hindi lang pang-pamilya, pang-sports pa. Ano <laughs> Alam mo si Marian, uh, kaibigan natin yan sa CAP, talaga ang ano yan, uh, dear friend. Yes. So, yun nga yung tanong ko, Father, no? in terms of uh, uh, the Catholic Education Association of the Philippines uh, and uh, the Atenes are, are members of, of that association. Ano? You were, uh, it was your first time also to be president of a school no? uh, in the Atene de Zamboanga University. Ano yung natutunan mo, Father? Kasi di ba, uh, being president of a school is definitely different from being a president or a leader of a corporation of, or any other organization, correct? So, napag-isip-isipan mo na ba yan after nine years? Uh, what, kumbaga, what makes uh, a uh, um, president of a Catholic school? What makes up? Yung pag, pag reflect natin yung pagiging Catholic mm -hmm. na isang university, no? Uh, yung ano yung mali, malinaw yung values father nono mm -hmm. na values education is very important to us mm -hmm. that's one mm -hmm. kasi as a catholic school we have very clear christian values to live yeah. out and promote mm -hmm. in everything in our curriculum in our teaching in our research in our the way we do administration mm -hmm. and leadership mm -hmm. yon so therefore Ang unique din sa Catholic University is this thing we call formation. Yun. Kung mm -hmm. hindi ka Catholic University, yung formation hindi masyadong priority. Mm -hmm. Pero tayo, formation is very much part of our identity. Which What is formation? May, mainly, formation of values and attitudes, dispositions, character, mm -hmm. how, how to be a Catholic Christian person mm -hmm. or a Catholic Christian leader. There's a type of leadership that is unique to being Catholic and Christian. Mm -hmm. And that is called servant leadership as taught to us by our Lord Jesus in the Gospel. Mm -hmm. So ang dapat pinoproduce ng mga Catholic schools like Ateneo are servant leaders na hindi that, 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 that can manage power responsibly, na hindi dapat maging corrupt. No? Uh, dapat ang mag-graduate sana natin dahil galing sila sa Catholic Christian schools. Ganon, no? You, you, you will be receiving power in your profession. Mm -hmm. Magiging doktor ka, politician, etc., mm -hmm. a lawyer. You will be handling power, but use power responsibly for service. Mm -hmm. Kaya yun ang tinuturo sa atin ni Pope. But, no? uh, but I, I don't want to put you on the spot, Father, pero may hihirit sa'yo. Wala, wala bang humirit pa sa'yo na, and yet, Father, yung mga ano, politikong mga korap, galing sa mga Ateneo eh. So how do you oh, respond to that? Oh, yeah. We have been we have been grappling with that reality and mm -hmm. question, Father Nono. Mm -hmm. uh, ang sagot ko dyan, um, we are imperfect. Uh, these are all ideals, intentions, and desires uh, in our mission mm -hmm. in a Catholic university. And we are imperfect in implementing it. And our work is to make it better yeah. all the time. Tsaka, you know? so, sabi ni, sabi ni and Father, then pangalawa, um, mm -hmm. Go ahead. There are many things that you cannot control. Um, yeah. Ang buhay ng isang estudyante, uh, maraming oras nasa loob ng skwelahan. Pero marami ring oras na nasa labas mm -hmm. ng skwelahan. Ang dami ring influences ngayon other than the school and the classroom and the laboratories. As we know, yung, yung social media, lachan, yeah. yung maraming disinformation, etc. Friends, families, all impact on a person's values and priorities and choices in life. Yung school is just one of it. Mm -hmm. 
uh, one one of these uh, influencers. So, but in the school, we try our best really to to be a good influence in the future of our graduates. Sabi nga ni, ang sagot dyan ni Father, the late Father and beloved Father Romeo Intengan, uh, ex-provincial natin Father, no? ang sagot niya dyan, no, no, you can bring the horse to the water, but you cannot force it to drink the water. O, oh, di ba? Kumaga, we... Ay, tatandaan ko yan, pare, na lang yes. parang kung isasagot sa mga tanong niya. Yes, we just provide the, ano, di ba, the formation, but it's, it's really uh, the students who have to decide if, they were going, if they're going to live live out that uh, formation. Uh, so, uh, so Father, ano, um, uh, that's, yun yung pagkakaiba no, ng, ano, ng President. Father, meron pa ako isa. Ah, sige, sige. Aside from Go formation, yung, yung idea of mission, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. mission. Ang, ang Catholic universities at ang uh, Jesuit universities are so central, cent, mm-hmm. uh, centralized, or they say, uh, they're central, um, uh, idea of work is really mission. Mm-hmm. Hindi lang to trabaho, yes, trabaho to, pero mission meaning there's a bigger purpose to our teaching, there's a bigger purpose to our being a staff mm-hmm. in a school. We're, we're here mm-hmm. for the mission. What is mission? You, you Simply put, it is making the world better, mm-hmm. making the country, the Philippines or Mindanao a, a better place, making our people's lives better, uh, let's say, our, especially the poor, uh, helping out the poor in whatever way we can. So, nagkakaroon ng ano, Father Nono, mm-hmm. additional meaning yung trabaho mo sa isang mm-hmm. Catholic and Jesuit university because of this idea of mission. So, what does that mean? Uh, ibig sabihin nun, well, tumatanggap ka ng sweldo at all, and all the benefits, pero ang, ang nararamdaman mo, hindi, lang, hindi ka lang nasa trabaho to para sa sweldo. Mm-hmm. Minsan nga, kahit na gusto namin magtaas ang sweldo ng aming mga, ta- mga empleyado, limitado kasi ang aming income galing lang sa tuition fee. Mm-hmm. May limit din sa pagtaas ng tuition fee kasi yung mga, ka- mga estudyante natin, mga, bata- mga kabataan natin, maka mahirapan din pumasok kung yeah. masy- masyado mataas ang tuition fee. So, ang hirap kaming mag akat lagi ng salaries kahit na yun ang aming pangarap lagi. No? So, so, minsan, uh, kahit na hindi satisf- hindi fully satisfactory ang salary levels ang mga empleyado na- namin sa universities meron ding malalim na kasiyahan mm-hmm. dahil yes. nga dito sa idea na mission mm-hmm. and yet father you have said ano yung formation and mission uh, that uh, kumbaga uh, separate the uh, catholic universities from other uh, from the sectoral uh, universities and or um, Anong tawag niya? Schools. Pero Father, what about uh, academic freedom? Diba? That's also part of the Catholic University kasi minsan may mga nalilito na, ano ba yan? Nasa Catholic school pero yung mga, yung faculty nag, ano, nag-sign ng, ano, ng petition uh, for ano, ganyan, ganyan, na taliwas daw sa turo ng simbahan. So, uh, it is also a, a, an academic institution governed by academic freedom that uh, diba, we are in search for the truth and the truth can diba, uh, kailangan natin hanapin so iba't iba yung positions diba? but we give freedom uh, for people to discuss and to, uh, diba, to uh, hold different positions how do you reconcile that? Father? Yes uh, uh, mag- mahalagang punto yun Father Nol, academic freedom no? uh, academic freedom dahil nga the purpose of a university is the search for truth. Yung paghagila, pag, pagsiyasat, mm-hmm. pagsaliksik ng katotohanan sa buhay. No? Kaya nga, ang dami-daming disiplina, sciences, arts, culture, uh, uh, humanities, social sciences, natural sciences, law, ang dami-daming disiplina para sabay-sabay natin hanapin yung katotohanan katulad ng isang problema. Like, for example, marami tayong problema tulad ng poverty. Ang hirap intindihin at, at, at ano yan at uh, resolbahan no yung yung mga conflicts natin yung mga gera no sa sa Middle East sa Myanmar sa Ukraine no ang hirap mm-hmm. so ang university is the venue to search for truth kaya kailangan ng freedom na ibigay mo sa mga 
teachers at researchers yeah, yeah. para hanapin ito at pag-usapan nito. Hindi yung parang besarili ka ng solusyon bilang president, i-impose mo na mm. ito ang solusyon sa problema ng lipunan. Hindi ganun ang academic freedom. Dapat malaya ang mga mga guru mo na nagsi-research ng truth at pinag-uusapan. Ang daming venues for dialogue and consultation and mm-hmm. conversation. no? Kaya marami kaming meeting rooms, conference rooms, para magtipon-tipon talaga mga mm-hmm. tao. Uh, nasa competence, Father Nono, ng university, yung mag-facilitate ng pakikinig sa maraming sektor, mag-summarize, mag-synthesize, ganyan. Yan ang ginagawa ng university. Okay. At kailangan dyan ang academic freedom. Correct. So, yun po, no? ang dami natin na-cover about uh, how... Uh, different the Catholic universities are compared to other uh, kinds of schools and universities. Uh, and of course, yung being president, being a leader of such Catholic universities. So Father, let's talk about Davao. You've been, uh, actually you were installed um, last uh, Monday, Octo- uh, January 8th, and yet you, you've been uh, with Davao or based in Davao for the last five months. Is that correct, Father? Or three months? I ako Father Nono, ng September 15. Okay. So, apat na buwan na po. Apat na buwan na, no? So, uh, any first impressions, Father? How How is Davao uh, different from uh, Zamboanga? How, how do you find that? Ang, ang Davao City itself, mm-hmm. uh, dahil nga parang ang maraming may pagtingin sa Davao as parang one of the key centers, key cities of Mindanao. Mm-hmm. So, da, because why? Because... Uh, economic economically uh, progressive uh, mm-hmm. along along the ranks of Manila Cebu tapos Davao na no bagamat maganda sa Mindanao marami na ring mga ibang cities like General Santos sa Buanga kagaya de Oro na progressive no? um, tapos grabe ang culture napaka diverse napaka makulay alam naman natin yung mga maraming taga Luzon mahilig punta ng Davao dahil sa kanyang mga prutas mm-hmm. Nung investiture nga, nag ang pamilya ko ng boxes of pomelo at durian, kumain sila, at uh, mangustin, mm-hmm. yung ganon. Tapos yung mga clothing, nandin, uh, mga textiles, ganda, unique ang cultures na, na hinubog ng indigenous uh, wow. people's communities culture in Davao mm-hmm. and its surrounding areas. Mm-hmm. No? Tapos yung Nandiyan din ang Mount Apo, nandiyan din ang Philippine Eagle, mm-hmm. no? Uh, tapos yung mga chocolate na pinuproduce sa Davao. Kumbaga, yung richness of mm-hmm. uh, culture uh, and uh, community nakikita mo sa Davao. Yeon. And of course, uh, between the two universities, mas mayaman po ang Davao, right? Mayaman in the sense na mas maraming uh, student population. Mm-hmm. Ang, 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 ang attended the Davao. Mm-hmm. Okay. And yet, Father, um, ito, medyo controversial. Pero, ibig sabihin, hindi ibig sabihin na walang utang <laughs> o walang uh, mga obligasyon. At correct. marami pang kailangan uh, erase na funds, no? Mm-hmm. Uh, Father Nono. Mm-hmm. Lalo sa scholarship, lalo na kunwari, yung mga laboratories namin, uh, dapat paramihin pa, mm-hmm. yung ganun ba? Uh, yung classrooms, uh, marap, ang, ang, ang isang universidad parang hindi na ubusan ng mga dapat yeah. uh, gasusin kasi nga patuloy ang mm-hmm. pag-unlad ng edukasyon. Okay. Um, it is a Catholic university and yet you, you also serve uh, our Muslim brothers and sisters. Have you had the chance, Father, to also figure out kung ilan yung mga schol- uh, scholars or estudyante uh, yung Muslim? Um... Or Much I, less I, I than Atero Samwanga. Mm-hmm. Ang Atero Samwanga, as I said, 25 to 30%. Ito siguro mga 5% mm-hmm. or less. Uh, why? Bakit, Father Nona? Kasi so, sa paligid ng Atero de Davao, maraming yung mga probinsya na, mm-hmm. na marami ring universidad. Like sa so Cotabato City, ang Notre Dame University na pina, pinatatakbo ng ating mga kapatid na Oblates mm-hmm. Fathers. No? Uh, ah. Isang tanyag din na mm-hmm. university, Notre Dame University, Cotabato City. Yan, grabe ang ano, population mm-hmm. ng ating mga kapatid na Muslim brothers and sisters. Mas malaki, more than 50%. No? 
Yan. Okay. Ah, marami pang ibang mm. ah, may mga Notre Dame schools sa pinatatakpo ng ating mga Marist Brothers, ganun. At mga eskwela ng RVM sa pinatatakpo mm. ng ating mga uh, mga kaibigang sisters, RVM sisters, uh, Notre Dame sisters. Ayun ang maganda sa Davao, fa- uh, sa Mindanao, Father mm. Nono. Maraming mga religious congregations na may Catholic schools na naglilingkod sa both Christian and Muslim student population. Y- yun nga yung susunod kong tanong, Father. No? How does that, uh, kumbaga, uh, hindi naman complicate, but uh, how does that uh, affect uh, the life of the community, the fact that you have, uh, because it's a, Catholic, it's a predominantly Catholic university or school, marami po kasi dito sa Metro Manila, for example, or sa Luzon, walang ganyang experience, ano? but the fact that you have students that are Muslims of, of uh, kumbaga, coming from various uh, faiths, for example, di ba? How does that color the life of uh, the university well, or even complicate it? Has, uh, she said, Father, no, it, has beca- it has made the life, the university student life mm-hmm. more colorful. Mm-hmm. Uh, Christians get to understand the, mm-hmm. the Islamic faith mm-hmm. and our Muslim brothers and sisters get to understand the Christian and the Catholic mm-hmm. way of life. Uh, Our, our yeah, rituals, yeah. our liturgies, our worship services, mm-hmm. the way we pray, the way we dress up, the way mm-hmm. we study and relate, our convictions in life, our values. I, I've always said that our universities are our our homes, our homes mm-hmm. for uh, developing friendships yeah. between Muslim and Christian brothers and sisters. Because we have to admit, Father Karen, ano, at mga katipuneros, na despite Vatican II, uh, with our council fathers there saying na, uh, kumbaga, the rays of, uh, of truth, uh, of, of God, are, are also with other faiths. Diba? Uh, marami pa yung mga katoliko ang nag, nagsasabi na only the Catholic Church is uh, the way to God. Uh, is the true church, etc., etc. So, marami pong nag- nagugulumihanan. Ayan, ha? Uh, a word to ano, learn for uh, Hana. Ano? Nagugulumihanan. Hana, uh, matutunan mo itong salitang ito. Ano? So, marami pa rin uh, nagsasabi na, ay, dapat ano lang, uh, we only serve the Catholics. Uh, and yet, yung mga Jesuit universities, we serve uh, non-Christians. Oh yes, uh, definitely. Uh, part uh, we we believe that part of our Catholic identity mm-hmm. as Jesuit universities or even the non-Jesuit other religious uh, congregations universities is to promote that Catholic conviction, uh, as you said, Father Don, in from Vatican II yeah. of interreligious dialogue, mm-hmm. uh, respect for other religions and faith mm-hmm. traditions. Hindi lang uh, hindi lang mga yun. Kristiyano ang anak ng Dios. Yes, uh, may you, the the sacredness of human dignity, mm-hmm. uh, uh, whatever your faith conviction and faith uh, tradition is. Mm-hmm. No? Kaya, Father, gusto ko sabihin sa Atari de Davao, may wonderful tradition called pakighinabi. Ano ba itong pakighinabi? It's a, it's a local term for dialogue. Mm-hmm. So, ang daming pakighinabi events. May issue on this, magtatawag ang presidente ng, ng dialogue, sometimes 50 persons, even sometimes more, mag-exchange ng different perspectives on an issue. no? Mm-hmm. Siguro ngayon, cha-cha yung issue, siguro kailan kami magkaroon ng pakighinabi on charter change. no? Mm-hmm. Coming from different perspectives. Whatever the issue come, uh, uh, we, we confront, we will we will do dialogue and conversation. At yun din, maraming, very active ang ating mga iba't ibang religions and faith traditions sa pakighinabi events or dialogue events. Okay, Father. Uh, this this one, uh, my next question is a bit controversial. Yeah, naman. Uh, we also know, Father, that Davao is a is Duterte country. And in the last elections, many Jesuits Uh, signed you know, uh, a uh, statement supporting uh, the other uh, kumbaga, the uh, can- candidacy of uh, uh, Lenny diba? and also diba, parang made comments about uh, the past administration. So, Father, how does that complicate uh, your uh, kumbaga, leadership there? Um, Davao being a Duterte country. 
Yes, uh, the Duterte family has mm -hmm. done good things in the city, uh, uh, but also uh, things that may may not be too good for other people. That's why there are politi political divides in our country as manifested in nung nakarang election. No? May mga nag-Lenny, nag-BBM, nag in Daisara, mm -hmm. the, the, the phenomenon, the, the nature of Philippine politics. No? Ngayon, nag-elect na tayo ng mga pinuno natin. Ang, 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 ang tingnan mga tao, ano na, sama-sama na tayo. Let's work for yeah, a better yeah. country, better cities, and all that. Lagi no? namang ganun dapat, Father. No? Elections. Unity. After, elections are after, elections. Yeah. After, ano, parang yung nap, napakita mo na yung kalooban or people's will yeah. as manifested in the election results, magsama-sama na. Yun yeah. ang perspective. Yes, yeah. Pero, hindi mo pa rin... Uh, you still hold on to your values no yeah. that's why uh, that's why you of course naturally naturally you gravitate ah uh, uh, ma-attract ka sa mga leaders sa gusto mo no yon yeah oh. si ang um, um, ngayon ang mayor namin father no, no si mayor Sebastian Duterte si Baste no uh, si mayor Baste is a graduate of Ateneo de Davao father no no mm -hmm. uh, political science graduate wow. siya wow yeah mm -hmm. kaya uh, a number of times we've met already and then uh, I, I feel that he's um, happy to be an Ateneo graduate and then he he values the the professors, his professors and mentors mm -hmm. in the Ateneo de Davao and I, I think naka, pwede kami mag-usap mm -hmm. no, about how to make, how, how the university paano makakatulong ang university sa pagpapatakbo niya sa Davao City no? yeah. kung Kung pwede kami makatulong sa mga programa niya para sa mga mahihirap, yeah. uh, sa development, sa culture, sa arts, environment, no? uh, pwede kami talaga maging partner mm -hmm. ni Mayor Baste. So, okay. yun ang attitude ko. Uh, yeah. Kaya, no, kahit kaya no, sa investiture ko, investiture ko bilang presidente, tuwan-tuwa ako dumalo siya. Mm -hmm. no? Nasa stage siya. Yeah. At, uh, kumbaga, he graced us with this presence no uh, tuwa-tuwa ako pinakilala ko siya sa mga iba't ibang uh, educational leaders ng CAP ng PEAC mm -hmm. at uh, pinakilala ko siya sa nanay ko sa pamilya ko tuwa-tuwa rin sila so uh, that's uh, loud and clear father so the elections are over it's time to work together uh, and yet uh, sabi mo nga uh, and yet our values remain di ba uh, our our principles, we stand, uh, we still stand for them, no? So, and at saka yung values and principles sa Father, no, no. Talagang yan ang ano. Kaya tayo kailangan parati nag-uusap sa iba't ibang mga uh, grupo at partido at samahan na medyo iba sa atin, no? Mm -hmm. Kahit si Pope Francis tinuturo sa atin, talk to people who are different from you, yeah. no? Uh, yun ang kanyang spirit ng synodality. Uh, maraming bumabati sa iyo, Father. Si Neng Lacorte. Hello, Father Carl. Si... Hi, Neng. Oh, talaga. May, ano, may fans club. Si Neng po ang aking uh, 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 ang principal namin sa junior okay. high school ng Atene de Davao. Uh, si uh, Laureana May May. Situational leadership. Sabi sa iyo, may natututunan tayo. No? So, thank you raw. Uh, and collaborative leadership. Sabi rin ni Neng. Si uh, Randa, enumerable, uh, uh, tagged uh, Isa. So, your cousin, Isa. Hi, si, Randa and Isa. Si Winnie, sabi niya, uh, let us support investment for peace through education, hopefully with Jesuit formation. Uh, si Winnie. Uh, si, um, si Les, magandang tanghali po. Les Menjola, JMM Director, congratulations on your new mission uh, to the Ateneo de Davao, Father Karel. Uh, Winnie Jimenez Santos, how do we invest? May tanong po siya, how do we invest in education as a means uh, for good governance or anti-corruption in public service? So education versus corruption in public service. How do you uh, respond to that, Father? I, yes po. Uh, yung mga simpleng pagtulong lang mm -hmm. sa scholarship. Okay. Uh, Ang Ateneo de Davao, I'm so happy to report na ang dami namin scholars from the our Muslim brothers and sisters communities. Marami rin kami scholars from the indigenous peoples communities. No? Meron mm -hmm. kami programa, yung Mindanawon, na nagbibigay ng suporta sa mga IP scholars po ng university. Kailangan ng suporta like tutorials, even housing. Mm -hmm. Kasi... Kapag ang isang IP student po from the surrounding IP 
tribal and indigenous communities in Davao and Mindanao, papuntain mo sa siyudad at paaralin mo sa isang pamantasan tulad ng Ateneo de Davao, ang daming adjustment na kailangan daanan, no? Uh, at kailangan ng support in terms even of tutorial and, and everything else. Mm-hmm. Kaya natutuha talaga kami isang napakalaking consolation kapag nag-graduate yung aming mga scholars na from the IPs, yeah, yeah. from our Muslim brothers and sisters. Yan ang tin ko, malaking achievement. Kasi nga, ito nga yung tatawag natin investment for peace and progress of the whole island of Mindanao and the country. no So, yung tulong sa scholarship, Tulong sa mga programa tulad ng dialogue, mm-hmm. community development. Uh, kaya si Father Nebres is very active in Gawad, Kalinga. Mm-hmm. Ang laki ng tulong niya sa housing and uh, feeding feeding school children. No? But if I may suggest, diba? Father, no? if I may suggest, Father, uh, yeah. di, di hamak na ano lang naman ako, taga-media. But uh, I'm also an alumnus of the Ateneo de Mano University. Doon po kasi sa tanong, Father, no? mga katiponers, I don't know if you would agree with me. Doon sa tanong na I eh, graduate niya ng Catholic school. Diba? He, he has learned all the values, Catholic values. Uh, diba? Kaya lang, nung nag, pumasok na sa gobyerno o sa business, nakurap na. I think, Father, yung kulang is the alumni association. Yes. Parang ano eh, parang ang hina eh, na parang after, after you graduate from the school, when you have left the portals of your school, mag-isa ka na lang eh. Where... where Whereas, pa, nung nasa loob ka pa, an, diba, lahat naman tayo aktivista, mayayabang tayo, may, may paninindigan tayo, etc. Pero when you're, all out, when you're out there, you're all alone. You need support. You need the community to support you. You need uh, to band together also so that the principles can hold. Oh, diba? Tama ba yun? Yun ang Tama yun, brother. Yung, yung ano, continuing support of our alumni. Yeah. Uh, mahalaga yan. Uh, na pwede silang umuwi. Pag yeah. kinakausap ko yung mga alumni ng, uh, ng mga university sa atin, sabi ko, this is your forever home. Mm-hmm. You can come home at least once a year during alumni homecoming or more frequently. We have regular masses. No? Yeah. Sa Ateo de Davao, meron kami Saturday anticipated mass and Sunday morning mass. Come home uh, to yeah. the masses uh, uh, and re- relieve the your 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 values in the Ateneo listen to Jesuits preach sa for akin, example uh, and reconnect with your yeah. fellow alumni sa akin, um, sa akin kasi father no we, we talk about the catholic vote which is non existence for example ano pero the catholic church in the philippines is a sleeping dragon if only we can organize ourselves more uh, outside of the ano ba, out of, outside of the schools outside of the uh, masses in the, in the churches, di ba? If we can continue working together outside of these institutions, di ba? Uh, we're a sleeping dragon. Eh. We can tap our, di ba? Th- that, that potential to help this country. Kaya lang yun nga, eh, watak-watak na after, ano, eh, after college, di ba? Yeah. So, but we try, our, we try our best to reach out and to help yeah. organize them. Father Nono, ang nakikita naming trend ganito sa pagdating sa alumni, all Ateneos have alumni affairs offices, Father Nono. Mm. And all Ateneos have alumni alumni associations. Yeah, yun nga eh. People A, Ateneo alumni associations. No? Ang napapansin namin, pag young alumni ka pa, hindi ka hirap pa maging active sa alumni association. Kasi nga, very busy ka pa sa careers mo eh. Mm-hmm. Yung try to establish yourself in your own profession and careers. Pag middle na, tsaka medyo senior na, <laughs> almost retiring and even retired post-retirement. Sila na nag-a-attend ng Ateneo. Very active ang mga uh, alumni, alumni homecoming, sila na nag-a-attend. <laughs> sila na nag-a-attend. At tsaka ang dami ng Father Nono na contribution sa school. Yan. Yeah. nag raise ng funds okay. for a classroom, for a facility, for scholarships, ang mga funds, no? Kailangan namin talaga ng funds from our alumni mm-hmm. to to keep on to keep this university strong, no? Pero ganun, ngayon nga ganun nga mm-hmm. father noon ang nagiging observation namin. Okay. Na kapag established na sila sa careers at profession sila, mga nagre-retire, doon na sila pwedeng maging very very active na yeah. mag-pay ano tawag doon, give back to yeah. their alma maters, no? Nakakatuwa naman. Okay, sabi ni Naomi Alejo, nasa tao na po father yon. if for instance the family is politically inclined, protecting only their selfish intentions, then nothing. Iniipit ang mga anak later on, uh, embrace na nila yun. well prayers is all. Thank you, si Naomi po yan. 
uh, si Karen Tanglao is watching from uh, from the US. US yata siya, no? Um, si, uh, oy, your number one fan is watching us. Uh, so proud of you, Nanay Min. Yan naman, <laughs> oh my lord. Alam naman po namin, Nanay Min, ang paborito niyong anak. Joke. <laughs> okay. Si, si Rosie Liwanag Bakirin, sabi niya, please invite also the incoming presidents of Atene Denaga and Savior School. Oh, yes. nga pala. Oh, of course, at tinede na. Yeah. May, may, may fans club rin dito pala si Father Ari D. So, Father oh, Ari... Kaibigan po natin yan. Oh, Father Ari D is the in- incoming uh, president of the Atene de Naga University. Okay, si Father Jao. And Father Jao. Father Karel, so uh, bago po tayo maubusan ng oras. So, I, I know it's... Uh, you've been there for four months, Atene de Davao, but we, we will have to ask you, parang kung napag-isipan nyo na, what's your vision for Ateneo de Dava. Kung baga, ano ba ang uh, dadalin mo o ibibigay mo sa kanila? Yan naman. Um, vision is for two or not two. I, well, marami. <laughs> uh, to, to make the university stronger in all aspects. No? Even financially, administratively. No? Pag strong ang um, university, uh, faculty development, lahat, mas magiging strong ang ating service, no? ang ating paglilingkod, pagtataya sa... Ang, ang napili naming focus ng mission, Father Nono, ay Mindanao. Kasi nga, marami kailangan pang gawin sa Mindanao. No? Mm-hmm. Pero ang tingin namin, kapag meron kaming focus ng, ng mission sa Mindanao, tumutulong na rin kami sa bansa. Father Nono, pwede ba akong bigyan ng isang example? Mm-hmm. Ang malakas ang Ateneo de Davao sa engineering... At ang mga engineer professors namin, uh, nag-research sila sa uh, renewable energy. Yung para bang ang uh, diba, climate change and all that, dapat ang energy sources natin, renewable. So yung solar energy, even water energy, ocean power. So may mga researchers kami dyan. At tumutulong kami sa bansa ng Pilipinas na palitan ang mga energy sources natin from coal base to renewable energy. Sa Mindanao, ang target namin, 50% na ang renewable energy sources by 2030. Mm-hmm. Um, pag nagawa namin yan sa Mindanao, malaking boost yan sa buong bansa. Yan na isang example na may mission kami sa Mindanao pero malaki na itutulong din sa bansa at sa region din, sa ibang Asian countries, meron din kaming involvement. So, mahalaga na palakasin ang faculty, ang staff, ang mga estudyante, no? uh, ayusin yung mga kailangang ayusin sa loob ng pamantasan. No? Kung may mga problema tayo sa mga proseso, ayusin natin yan. No? Uh, para yung ating paglilingkod sa labas, sa mga mahirap, sa sambayanan, patuloy na lumalakas. Yun ang aking parang uh, perspective sa ami, sa aking uh, vision, vision para sa Ateneo de Dava. Wow. So, uh, aasahan namin yan, Father. Abangan namin po yan. Ano? Um, sabi mo marami, pero tama na muna yun. Ano? <laughs> oh. uh, so, uh, Father, um, Bago tayo finally maubusan ng oras, ano po yung inyong uh, kumbaga, mensahe sa inyong mga mga kasama dyan sa Tinali Dava University? Some of them are listening right now. <coughs> Ang mensahe ko, yung nabanggit ko nga doon sa aking speech sa investiture. Hmm. Mahaba po Kala- yung father eh. Huwag mo naman ulitin dito ah. Ay, hindi ko ulitin kasi <laughs> mahaba eh. <laughs> <laughs> Sabi ko nga, napakahaba. Okay. Pero ang, ang, ang mensahe doon talaga, ano, pasasalamat sa napaka mainit na pagtanggap, warm welcome sa akin. Mm-hmm. Pero ang ang parte ko ngang ine-emphasize, ah, hindi hindi naman talaga dapat lang ako yung hindi lang nakasento sa personal at bagamat nasa kultura natin na dapat ang presidente, may investiture. Pero ang yung event na yun gusto ko, gusto ko rin maging isang significant event kasi Father Nono, it's like 75 year anniversary oh, wow. na Ate De mm-hmm. So, it was a celebration yeah. of 75 years of mission. At yun ang gusto kong sabihin, patuloy natin itong mission na ito. Um, malaking bagay, nagbibigay ng kahulugan sa buhay natin mm-hmm. at sa buhay ng mga ibang tao na nangangailangan sa atin. No? So yun, so, itutuloy natin yan ng sama-sama. Um, we will join you together, ikanga, uh, 
walang beat, walang mm-hmm. talagang bida pero lahat tayo bida <laughs> ganon uh, para tayong mag, mag-uusap at magkakaintindihan yung ganon ba? Okay, and uh, with that we uh, what about your fans naman dito Father? Final word to them? <laughs> uh, uh, Ay, fans! Your, your uh, friends! Yeah, friends Indeed, fans, here. Friends. Uh, maraming salamat sa inyong support at lalo na sa mga dasal mm. at panalangin sa amin dito sa Mindanao at sa Davao. No? Uh, talagang uh, ramdam dami ng suporta ninyo at, uh, at pagkakaibigan. No? Uh, okay. Thank you for the friendship, the support, and the prayers. So congratulations again, uh, Father Karel, uh, on your uh, installation as president, fifth president of the Atinaida Dava University, and we pray for your success. And, Salamat, uh, Father Nono. Salamat po sa Radyo Katipunan. Uh, ah, by the way, mm-hmm. congratulations po sa Gumburza. Uh, tuwan-tuwa po kami dyan dahil merong pinalabas na movie theater sa Davao ng Gumburza. At ang plano po namin sa Atinaida de Davao, magkakaroon po kami na, tawag doon, yung block screening mm, sa lang, mga ha? estudyante namin ng history. No? Uh, kung nakikinig po si uh, Principal Neng at uh, Headmaster <laughs> Uh, Ann and uh, and uh, Senior High School Director Ricky, yung mga, yung mga history classes po natin, yeah. mag-organize tayo ng block screening para pan- mapanood ng ating mga studyante ang gumursa. On the spot, Father. Ah, sige, papadala namin just to make sure that uh, that will happen, uh, that, that, that you will be true to your... Uh, promise. Papadala po namin sa Davao si Hana, no? Just to check. Ayan! Ayan. Okay. <laughs> okay. Maraming salamat, Father Karel, and more power to you and the Atina de Davao University. So, yan po, mga katipuneros, nakilala natin bahagya si Father Carl San Juan, SJ, the fifth president of the Atina de Davao University. Abangan nyo po yan. Uh, as per your suggestion, interview natin yung mga bago rin si Father Ari D, si Father Uh, Joseph Howe, mga incoming presidents of uh, Ateneo or Jesuit schools in the Philippines. Sa, hanggang sa muli po, uh, mga katipuneros, this has been the Jesuit Hour and Father Nono Alfonso SJ. Bye-bye! The Jesuit Hour Get to know the Jesuits Discover their spirituality Their history, their ministries, the Jesuit Hour, anything Jesuit, everything Jesuit, the Jesuit Hour.